This is a complete context menu builder guide for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't know, a context menu is basically like if you hover over this apps button, it will come up with test. So what this is going to do is it's basically just going to be like a normal slash command, but you can access it through this menu. This can be really useful for commands that are more personal for a member, such as banning them or getting their user info. We can go ahead and start by actually making a command for this. We can do context.js, for example. We we can now define the context menu builder as we are going to be using that instead of the slash command builder. So you can do context menu builder and we can do application command type and embed builder just in case we use that equals require and we will do discord.js. Now we can say module.exports equals we can open this up. We can say data. We'll say new context menu builder just like the slash command builder. We're going to set a name and this can be a uh, test or something like that. And then we can set a type, which is gonna be a little bit different. We will do application command type, just like that, dot user. And then we can do comma, we can do async execute. In here, we can pass in our interaction. Then we can go ahead and open this up. To start with this, we're gonna go ahead and console.log our interaction. So we can do console.log and we'll pass in our interaction. This way we can get all of the information from the interaction so you can see what you can do with it. Then we can actually just write a simple response. So we can do await interaction.reply and then we can do content. And in here, we can go ahead and say, uh, this worked or something like that. And then we can make this informal, uh, just like this. All right, so now we can go ahead and restart the bot and actually test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server to actually access this, like I showed before, we can just go ahead and hover over the profile right here and we can just go to apps and click test. Now, as you can see, it's gonna say this is working with our informal message just like that, and it is replying to tests. Now, the main part we wanna see is actually in the console. So this is all of the information you can actually pull from the interaction. And so what you can do with this is you can like pull a target ID, or you can pull the person who executed the command, or you can pull the guild, everything pretty much you can pull from this interaction. And then you can use that to make a command. So for example, the one that I want to focus on is the target ID. So to pull that out, all we have to do is do const, we can open this up, and we can say target ID, and then we can just do equals interaction. Now, if we replace the this is working message, we can completely replace this and we can just pass in our target ID just like that and restart the bot. Now, if we actually use this command again, as you can see, it is going to give me the target ID and this is not me because I'm executing the command. This is actually the user that you are using the application on. So if I were to do it on Esky, for example, we can do apps test. As you can see, it's going to give the ID of Esky just like that. So the reason why this is so important is simply Simply because you can use this to, for example, ban the member, to kick the member, to get a user info, all that stuff with the target ID, which is usually what these context menus are used for. Now we could do something like await interaction.guild.bans.create, and we can just pass in our target dot id or just target id and we can try that out for example so you can just go ahead and run the test command again and as you can see it is going to say nothing because i removed uh, the interaction but the user is actually banned as you can see here so that is a complete context menu builder guide um like i said before you can pretty much do anything with this as you can pull all of that information from the console log to interaction and then you can just apply that in the code um, to ban to get a user info even really a server info if you wanted that if you need any help be sure to join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out um yeah and with that i'll see you guys in the next video